lakas maka vampire. I don't know how my lips will look like later. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, as you see on the title itself, it's the Tooth House collaboration with Well Velvet Tits. So there are a total of five shades, and I'm gonna share with you the swatches and how it will look on my lips, and also my thoughts about this product. So without further ado, let's get started. So as I've said earlier, I have a total of five lip tints here, and this one is called Magic Lip Locker. Each one contains four grams of product, which is a decent amount of product for each lip locker, and this one is sold individually as well. So as always, I start off with the packaging itself, and it looks like this, guys. I like the fact na may idea ka na kung anong color ng lip tint mo kung mo base from the box. So we have different shades of pink here, um, brick brown red, or parang dark red, and you also have this burgundy red color. And now we're gonna swatch this one. So let's start off with the lightest color, base sa aking paningin. So I think this is the lightest color. This is Yeri Pink or PK003. I'll just put it on the screen para hindi kayo maleto. So once you've opened it, I'm not sure if available pa to sa mga Etude House outlets, but this is what the lip locker looks like. Ayan, parang matte na glass. Frosted matte glass. Yung packaging and this one is parang plastic lang, pero matte din. Yung iba kasi pag glossy, this one is matte as well. And this is what the applicator looks like. Kung sobrang pigmented niya kasi long lasting, so hindi ko siya buburahin para later on makita nyo. Okay guys, so this is what Yerdy Pink looks like on my lips. First impression, sobrang bilis niya matuyo guys. So make sure lang na konti-konti lang ilalagay mo sa lips mo. And then you just spread it with your fingers if you want to look gradient lips. Or if you want to have gradient lips. And make sure also to moisturize your lips or use a lip balm kung madami kang ilalagay. Kasi definitely may emphasize yung mga lines. Pero kahit ganun siya, kahit mabilis siya mag-dry, I don't feel anything sticky. Hindi siya heavy sa lips. Sobrang lightweight niya. So when it comes to the color, ito yung color color na lakas maka Korean look or lakas paka fresh lang. Okay, so I'm gonna try to remove it with a wet wipes. That is a makeup remover. Let's see kung gano'ng katagal siya tatanggal. Definitely maglilib ng tint and kinda hard to remove. Okay, let's now move on with the second color. This is the Joy Grapefruit. I'm kinda scared kasi medyo red siya. Kuntian lang natin. Oh. So this is what Grapefruit Joy looks like. Medyo orange siya sa camera, but in personal, sobrang konti lang yung hint ng orange niya. And so far, mas madali tong i-apply compared dun sa kanina, yung Yeri Pink. Kasi hindi niya din masyado na-emphasize yung line sa lips ko. Now let's move on with the third color, and this is the Irene Red. And while swatching it on my hand here, I would say this like cherry red color. And parang mas dark to or may parang ito yung may blue undertone ng pagka-red. And I'm gonna swatch it on my lips. So this is Irene Red on my lips. And so far, this is the kind of shade that I would wear. It's like candy yum yum ng MAC but darker. So I think it's very wearable. It's very bold color. And if you want more opacity of this one, you just add a little bit of the product kasi sobrang pigmented niya nga talaga. And again, hindi niya masyado na-emphasize yung line ng lips ko. I'm surprised kasi color red siya when I swatch it on my hand. But when I put it on my lips, it looks like um, cherry red. So we're gonna move on to the last two colors. I have here Wendy Brown. I think this is the nudest of all the shades that they have. And I'm gonna swatch it first. I think it's the most wearable. So this is what Wendy Brown looks like on my lips. This is the color that you can wear every day or pinaka wearable na color sa collection. Because it's nude pink. It's close to my lips but better. So yan yung color niya. And this is one of my top picks as well. Because perfect to for every day. Even if you have light makeup or even have heavy makeup. This is very wearable. So now we're down to the last color bago pa mamaga ang aking lips. And this is the Sulky Burgundy, which I'm very excited. Kasi lakas maka-vampire nitong color na to. Ooh! So after a few 
few minutes. Alam mo yung paglagay ka na lagay ng lip tint, tapos palagpas ng palagpas, at palakay na ng palakay yung lips mo. This is Sulgi Burgundy, and I would say super love the color. Ang lakas maka-vampire look, and ang lakas maka-puti. This is the darkest shade that they have, kaya fino lips ko na siya since ito na yung last na ni swatch natin. All of them are very pigmented, I must say. Yung ibang swatches yung nilagay ko, ginawa ko lang gradient kasi medyo mahirap siyang tanggalin since it's long-lasting. And this is around 600 to 700 pesos sa mga outlets. And there are also online sellers who are selling this a lower price or you can buy it as a set as well or individual. It's really up to you. Overall, this is a good product. It's very pigmented, long-lasting, and it's non-drying although it's matte lipstick. And pinaka gusto ko sa kanya yung kahit gaano kadami na akong ilagay, it doesn't feel heavy on the lips. Parang wala pa rin akong nilagay sa lips ko and walang stickiness ako nararamdaman. So overall, I think for the price range for 600 to 700, it's a good kind of lip tint if you want a long-lasting matte lip tint like this. It doesn't feel dry hindi ko na feel na nagsira or nagka-crack yung lips ko. May ganun kasing matte na lipstick or lip tint feel. It's very very lightweight. Definitely transfer proof kasi it dries very easily.